What's happening everyone? Welcome back and thank you for stopping in. Today we have an awesome overview to do for you guys. This is one of my all-time favorite knives that we're going to be covering. You've seen it before on the channel, but uh, we haven't really delved into the knife yet. Uh, before we hop into that, why don't we cover what I had in my pockets today. This is the TRM Atom, the American-made TRM Atom. Love TRM. This is not just your ordinary Atom, though. They only did one run of these that I know of, and I'm pretty sure it was only that one run. But this is the DLC version. So this one is pretty rare. There are a few guys I know that have one, like two guys, I think. Uh, but these were very limited, and they have not brought them back yet. This one does have the aftermarket milled titanium scales, which just sets this knife off. It's insane. The aesthetic of this knife is it's just beautiful. One of the best looking knives I own for sure. Very comfortable. This thing is a slicing machine. Very thin from the stock all the way to the edge. Thing is just a master slicer. Look at that edge. That's just the factory edge. Haven't had to sharpen it once. Haven't even had to strop it. This thing came razor sharp. Absolutely love this knife. I take good care of it though. And then I had the Liang Ma Field Duty 3.5. I haven't carried this for quite a while. I couldn't get it out of my pocket after I got it. And then I kind of put it away for a couple weeks. And I saw it sitting in there last night, and I was like, man, I got to get that thing out. Uh, S90V, so comfortable in hand. I really like this knife. Don't necessarily like the designer so much. Not anymore, anyway. Not that I really ever did. But uh, the knife, though, is very, very well done. Got that titanium backspacer back there. Just makes this thing ultra comfortable so we'll hop into the overview why don't we so this is all about the jason grant brass brigade gripper this thing is one of my all-time all-time favorite folding knives knives period uh and it's a kind of a funny story I was not really for this knife when I first saw it. Uh, I knew John EMP EDC was coming out with a Warncliffe. Uh, it was coming shortly after this guy. And I, I basically did not want to get another Warncliffe, uh, another premium Warncliffe. You know, I almost felt like I was cheating my Nimble W by getting uh, this knife. And the more I thought about it, uh, the more I thought I was just stupid. And uh, eventually, it was quite a while after I got the Nimble W that I got this. Uh, it was actually one of the very last ones Jason had. Uh one of the very last stone washed, and I think it was one of the very last ones, period. Uh, and man, am I glad I bought this knife and I have this knife. It is in every way a do it all knife. It was created more for a tactical use, I believe. Uh, but this thing is so slicey. It's got such a nice, long, straight blade that it basically can handle anything that you want to throw at it. You have this awesome tip there to do any draw cuts, uh, getting behind things, you know, strapping and seat belt strap, uh, plastic strapping, you name it. This thing will cut it. 
we can go ahead and do a quick cut test with this guy. We do an awful lot of cut tests here. I've been through almost two full phone books in the last, I didn't even start doing it when I started my channel. So two months maybe. I've been through almost two full phone books. We are in the S's of the second one. We do a lot of cut tests. Is that just me or is this? Oh, it was my angle, I think. This thing is, I have seen many knives struggle with the telephone book paper. I think though, this one likes more of a steep angle. Cause it's definitely It almost feels like it wants to get caught up right there. I wonder if I... No, don't feel... Now I want to get to the bottom of this. We need to get to the bottom of this. No cuts, guys. No edits. No retakes. What you see is what you get, baby. Like I said, I've seen many, many knives have trouble with that telephone book paper. And sometimes it's not, it doesn't tell all. Sometimes I will use that telephone book paper and a knife will struggle with it sometimes, uh, occasionally. <clears throat> and then I'll get something just a smidge thicker, something like this and it just blazes right through it. Then I'll like take some cardboard and try it on that, and it blazes right through it. Just something about that telephone book paper, this might need a little stropping as well. I mean, to make it really, really, but uh, this thing is sharper than all get out. Uh, I think there's something though hanging me up. I'm almost positive. I don't feel it though. I can kind of feel it there. All right, enough of the two minute cut test. This thing is sharper than all get out though. It came sharper than all get out and it is still razor sharp. I've used the piss out of this knife uh, over the last couple of months and it's still the working edge, perfectly fine. The fine edge, it could use a little work. Uh, we'll go ahead and this is going to be an overview pretty much of this knife, guys. I got this knife before I started my channel. So, and there's going to be a lot of these that come around. Uh, just knives that I bought before I started my channel. And they need to be on the channel for content purposes. For every purpose that I have. Uh, just because it's not the newest fad. You know, that doesn't mean I'm not going to give it a overview. Give it a review. Do a disassembly of it. I'm going to do it all. I don't care if the knife just came out yesterday or if the knife is 15 years old, like this Gerber here. I'm gonna do, that's what we're here to do is content. We're gonna do knife content on everything that I can get my hands on. And you're going to see some content coming that I may have already done a video on it like maybe I unboxed a knife say 
Like, say I unboxed the Lander and I gave you a first impressions and gave you a little bit of an overview, uh, but it was rushed. There was too much in one video. So there's going to be some knives that I'm going back over uh, because back then the video quality wasn't good. The audio wasn't that great. I sounded like shit. So there's just a bunch of reasons to redo some of them videos. There's going to be new things added into the video anyway, but just some... Uh, reference for some future videos that are coming uh we have about three and an eighth of cutting edge and we got three and three quarters total here to this tip and then we are coming all the way back to eight and uh, that's about eight and five eighths right there guys to this very tip so it's a pretty big boy if you go so yeah it's it's right it's actually a little strong of the five eighths so uh it is a big big boy it's all titanium the clip the handle the backspacer i don't i think even the hardware is titanium yeah even the hardware is titanium. We'll get out the scale. Why don't we take our brand new issuing stitches, Hank, and we'll wipe them off. Link down in the description for issuing stitches. Some of the best Hanks in the business, no question. Uh, definitely the best prices in the business. And you can use code GBALL10 to get yourself 10% off. There we go. Look at that. Get a little weight on this guy here. Coming in at like 5.6. So, and this is a big knife, guys. Uh, ratios, people, you're out. You know, uh, not that, you know, that, that, some crybaby came up with that shit, in my opinion, as far as having to have it three ounces and three inches of blade line. Get the hell out of here. Uh, that's just my opinion anyway. Now, if something's ridiculous, then all right, I, I can see that. But, you know, that's, that's kind of stupid, in my opinion. But, you know, because then you won't have knives like this, you know. If, if that was how everyone felt, you wouldn't have knives like this. And I absolutely love this knife. So we kind of touched on the aesthetics a little bit. I absolutely love the way this thing looks. Uh, you know, when I first got into knives, tactical knives were... That was the thing, you know, you had your hunting knives and then you had your tactical, tactical knives. Now this isn't just tactical, you know, alone due to the Warren clip blade due to it being very fine. You know, it is a hollow grind all the way down a very, it's a pretty, it's a pretty tall hollow grind. Uh, not as tall as, you know, it could be, but this thing is just built for taking a beating and it's it's meant to dish some beatings out as well. Absolutely love the way this thing looks. I love, absolutely love the jimping all the way down the spine of the blade, all the way down the spine of the handle. And it coincides really well with the frag scales even get it here on the lock bar. And then you got just a nice subtle G for the, what is it? Is that for Grant, I believe? Jason's last name, Grant. Uh, so, so well done, guys. And then you have the uh, brass pivot collar there. 
I if I get the the T the Tanto version of this knife, the Tripper, I am probably I like the black one. And if I didn't have this knife, I probably would get the black one. But I'm gonna go with the acid wash and stone washed with the brass. That way, you know, they matchy matchy. But uh I'm going to be getting one. I just don't know if I'm pre-ordering one or if I'm just going to buy it after they drop. We shall see. But the aesthetics of this knife are, it's amazing. Uh, as far as handling and oh, it just, it fits me perfectly. You have a little bit left over there. Uh, so even if your hands are a little bigger there, you have this little ridge that comes down, which is perfect. Even if you want to say you want to choke back a little bit, it's just every which way, it doesn't matter. And then you can climb up here in that nice choil. It's just this thing, Jason and his first knife design, he just absolutely killed this thing. Just, it's amazing. I, uh, Best Tech did a great job making these. Uh, and Jason just, and he's doing, you know, he's going to do a mini version of this. He has the tripper coming. Dude has something going on over there in California. And, and, and knives are not even his primary uh, business. He's a tattoo artist, a full-time tattoo artist. So... <laughs> He makes knives on his off time, so to speak, and or designs them and makes them. He makes fixed blades. He designs folders. Dude has something special going on, and I cannot wait to see what he does over the next couple of years because if he's putting out stuff like this in his first year or two of designing, <laughs> it's uh, only going to get better from here. Uh, as far as sounds, sounds beautiful, uh, nice strong lockup, very strong lockup. There's no side to side, no up or down, just amazing. Uh, you do get all the fun deployment methods. You have this nice long fuller that you can actuate from anywhere that you want. The hole, pill shaped hole, beautifully done. You can thumb flick this bad boy out, reverse flick this bad boy, front flip it. You can use the rear flipper tab. Now, I think that's more designed to give it like a little momentum or a little wrist because it's not designed, I don't think, to just kind of sit here. Now, it'll flip out, but I don't think that's the design of it. I think it was meant to kind of be whipped out if you're using that and I think that's where because he could have ran that basically straight across and then down but he decided not to do that uh, for a multitude of reasons I think one being it would look too similar to the nimble W which I don't think it does at all uh, I think this is its own knife without question. I have both and there's no question. They're both Warren Cliffs, but they're two totally different knives. Uh, they both are spectacular in their own right. Uh, the Nimble W for me is more like my, I'm going out to eat, going to a nice place, kind of like a gentleman's carry type of knife. And this is like, a hard use, tactical, you know, get the job done, no matter what it is. Uh, you know, and it could, no, nah, I guess it couldn't. I was going to say, I guess this could pass as a gentleman's carry, but I think it's a little too tactical for that. I have my Nimble W sitting right here. And they just, they are similar in ways you know, but they, they're just, in my opinion, they are nothing alike. Uh, sure. You have this slight outward 
tip go, you know going to the spine there but that's because of the Warren Cliff blade uh, Jason Grant got inspiration from the nimble that's why you have the uh, multiple deployment methods but uh, these knives are definitely different uh, in more ways than one uh, and I see absolutely no reason other than their worn cliffs that they are the same uh, especially when you open this guy up they just they don't they don't look in my eyes they're completely different knives uh, very very different knives you know and like I said I still view this one as like my gentleman's very very nice you know and that's not a knock on the, the gripper. That is, this is meant to be a tactical hard use folder. This is kind of like an all around. Uh, but I view my Nimble W more as like a gentleman's carry, you know, nicey, nice carry. Now I do take it and use that work and stuff, but uh, it's more of my gentleman's premium carry. Uh, but this knife, if you weren't able to get one, I know some people who have been able to get one on the secondary that never could get one when they were out. I, uh, you have no idea what you're missing out on. If you like a Warren cliff, if you like this design, uh, you just have no idea what you're met, uh, missing best tech. Absolutely destroyed and this was one of the first knives best tech that i had from best tech and i realized how good best tech really could do uh and they really do a phenomenal job and they have get, been getting better and better and better and it's awesome to see uh best tech has really stepped their game up in my book uh, but that will pretty much cover everything, guys. I want to say, where did I see that at? There is, there it is, right there. Number 86. Uh, and I, I can't remember how many he made of each one. There wasn't a ton of these out there uh, to begin with. Uh, but I think this one was kind of held back. I think it had a little stronger of a detent or something, but I think it's freaking perfect uh, for all the deployment methods. So that is the Brass Brigade Grant Gripper, guys. A masterpiece, especially for his first design. Absolute masterpiece right here. And there's not much more I can say about it especially 23 minutes in, uh, just a phenomenal design. I am going to be doing a disassembly of this guy coming up and we'll be doing a short-term review, long-term review of this guy. Uh, just so, so well done from Jason. And he's got an absolute winner here and I cannot wait to see what he comes up with next after the tripper and the mini gripper that he's coming out with or the gripper mini. I don't know exactly how he's playing the words out with that, but uh, just a, a phenomenal, phenomenal knife, guys. That will do it for me for this one, guys. Hope you stayed till the end. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was entertaining. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this guy. Give me a like. And if you're still here and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, baby. Otherwise, have a good night. I will catch you later.